Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and today we're going to talk a little bit about cool shortwave receivers. Okay, there are lots of them, and they all come with different kinds of features. This is from Rick. He says, I really enjoyed your video, Learn About Shortwave Listening, and it's my number 352. I'm glad that you enjoyed it because that is by far my most popular video. It has been seen a few hundred thousand times. It somehow went viral. And still, even when I look at the most popular videos, like for the last month, that video shows up in that list. It's, it's interesting. Somehow I got something right. Anyway, he wants to get himself a shortwave receiver, also wants to listen to the ham bands and so on. I'm going to give you a couple options, okay? The first is to do it thoroughly and right. This is an RSP Duo. The one I would recommend is the SDR RSP1A, SDR Play. And it's this one right here. They're sold at Ham Radio Outlook. This is the SDR Play RSP1B, $139.95. So $140 bucks there. For some reason, DX Engineering doesn't carry this particular line, but they are excellent receivers. These receivers are every bit as good as what you will find in a fine amateur radio transceiver. This is just the receiver, okay? And it's made by a company in England. It is a software-defined receiver. Now, you'll note the USB-B right there. It's the same connector that Hewlett Packard uses for its printers. So you get the cable, I think the cable might come with it, that you plug in here and plug into your computer and then you connect an antenna. Now, they have these little weird microwave connectors. I like to use the so-called UHF connectors, which are not very good at UHF. But the PL259 on the end of the coax, and then the SO239, which is what that is right there. You can get these adapters very easily from pretty much any online source. And if you're getting it uh, from Ham Radio Outlet, you can get one of these too. Now, it is powered by the USB, so you don't have to worry about anything else. And if you want, you can connect in, reference, whatever you want to do. Then you get the software, which is free to download, SDR Connect, okay? And that software grabs hold of this radio, and you're looking at the spectrum of an entire ham band or a broadcast band or wherever you want to tune it. You can get up to a 10 megahertz slice all at once. And that's why they call them radio signal processors rather than radios, because what these are doing is they're processing the entire spectrum. So you can see all the different signals. Like if you're going on the shortwave bands, but the one up and around nine megahertz, there's one around six megahertz. You can see them all there. Okay. And you can just drop your cursor over one and listen to it. Okay, it's an excellent, very sensitive receiver. This is something you won't grow tired of. 10 megahertz at a time, anywhere from way down in the low frequencies, okay, down to like kilohertz or something, and all the way up to 2 gigahertz. So anywhere in there, and that covers pretty much all the ham bands. There are a few ham bands up higher than that, but not much action there. So you'll get all your shortwave activity and so on. Now, let's suppose you're not ready for that. Here is a little radio I have been sent to review. This is from Zizu. Okay, and it is the 2023 upgraded. And when I say little radio, I mean little radio. Okay, and it comes with an antenna that you can put into here. You charge it with USB-C, and uh, there is a little built-in speaker, which is really tinny, but right here is where you plug in your headphones. And I showed this to my wife, because they sent this to me for review, and I plugged in the headphones, put that on her head, and it's like, whoa, this thing can really do good things with stereo FM and stuff like that. Now, when you turn this thing on, and if I were to plug in the antenna, and you can turn, tune around. Since I'm contacting her. Okay, there's voice. News. I'm Martha Harris in Provo, Utah. This can be used 
too. Now it comes with another antenna which is designed really for the broadcast bands. This goes from 9.9 .9 kilohertz to 180 megahertz. It's a loop antenna printed on a circuit board on both sides. And you plug this in and it's directional. Normally it will receive in this direction, but if you put it facing the station, the signal will null. So this becomes a good direction finder. Okay? And those are some of your choices. Now the Texan radio that you talk about is an excellent radio. There are often shortwave radios. The Eaton brand, E-A-T-O-N, is advertised in QST from time to time. There are just a bunch of radios and you can pay anything you want for them. If you're going to do most of your shortwave listening at home, I would recommend the SDR Play because it's a serious receiver. And by serious, I mean this will pick up pretty much everything that your regular radio will pick up. Now, it's not got all the fancy roofing filters and stuff like that built in because it's not designed to be part of a communications transceiver. It is a receiver. Okay, so there you have it. So I recommended a couple. Handhelds are okay. Okay, licenses. If you would like to get your technician license, you can certainly do that. Go to... YouTube, and then in the search bar, put ARRL space HQ space Dave Kassler, okay? That will take you right to the playlist that is all my training videos for the first level of license. And it will tell you what book to buy, what to study, how all of these things work. My daughter got her tech license two weeks prior to her 10th birthday, so it can be done. My wife, whose training is in art, she has a Bachelor of Fine Arts from University of Nebraska. It was actually Jennifer who taught her how to prepare for her test, and my wife is licensed too. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.